Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU and today we're going to talk about iOS 13.3.1 which was just seeded in its first beta form to registered developers yesterday. What it means for jailbreakers, both those with older and with newer devices and I'm just going to show you guys that yes you can already jailbreak iOS 13.3.1 beta 1 which to me is just absolutely fantastic coming in yeah flex i just want to win all right, so to start off, I just wanna show you guys that this iPhone is already on iOS 13.3.1 inside of settings general about for the software version there, which again, will come in handy when I show you guys that yeah, you can jailbreak 13.3.1. Okay, so now let's talk about whether or not you should update and what it means for jailbreakers. So obviously because it is in beta form, I don't recommend that you install this on your daily driver, but let's even take it one step beyond that. I don't recommend installing 13.3.1 at all for any reason for any iOS device owner when it actually is released. And the reason for this is because iOS 13.3 itself was released recently and it closes two key kernel vulnerabilities, both of which can be exploited and rolled into a jailbreak utility for all devices, including newer ones like those powered by A12 and A13, like this iPhone 11 right here. As many of you know, the CheckRain jailbreak is fantastic. It persists across iOS updates, which is actually how we're able to jailbreak 13.3.1 beta one right now, but it does not include support for A12 or A13, which which leaves newer iPad models, the iPhone XS and XR series, as well as the iPhone 11 series out as far as jailbreaking is concerned. Those devices will not receive a jailbreak until a new utility, something that is not CheckRain, is made available. And the only way that's going to really happen, at least from what I can see, is if we receive new kernel exploits. Now, there are several kernel vulnerabilities that exist in iOS 13. Specifically, there is one in iOS 13.1.3 and lower that was patched by iOS 13.2. And then there are two new kernel vulnerabilities that are present in 13. 13.2.3 and lower that were patched by iOS 13.3. So as I've always said on this channel, it's best to stay as low as you possibly can. That's why I do not recommend updating. And in fact, if you are on iOS 13.3 right now, I cannot stress this enough. You guys need to downgrade to 13.2.3 if you're at all interested in being able to jailbreak anytime soon for newer devices or if you're interested in a semi-untethered jailbreak for older devices because yes that's what the jailbreak is going to be that's what the next utility will be something that's not check rain will be semi-untethered very similar to what we've had in the past with uncover and with Chimera. So we're going to get a semi-untethered jailbreak. That means you'll be able to reboot your device and actually re-exploit it on your device with the app itself without the assistance of a computer at all. So long as there are developer enterprise certificates that are made available, you'll be able to do it with this method, which will be fantastic. So don't upgrade to 13.3.1 when it's released. Hell, don't even upgrade to 13.3 if you can avoid it. And uh, like I said, you can still currently downgrade to 13.2.3 for a very, very limited time. Apple's going to close the signing window very soon. They always do. It's not a matter of if, rather when. And once they do, you will no longer be able to go back to 13.2.3, which is the last version of iOS 13 that includes two very key kernel vulnerabilities that again, we've been talking about throughout this entire video. So that's why I recommend to not update to stay exactly where you are. And obviously the best bet for iPhone XS and newer is again to stay sub 13.3, which would mean 13.2.3 or lower. If you happen to miss iOS 13.1.3, which contains an additional kernel vulnerability, don't fret. You should still theoretically be good on iOS 13.2.3 or lower, though we don't know whether or not that main kernel vulnerability in 13.1.3 will actually be the primary one used to jailbreak since it may be exploited first. But either way, your best bet is to be at that lower firmware, 13.2.3, or again, 
earlier than that. So with that said, now let's get into the check rain jailbreak demo. Now I'm not going to go over this entire process really too in depth. If you guys are interested in that and how to jailbreak with check rain on unsupported firmwares, i.e. ones that specifically have not yet been updated by the check rain development team to function with the utility, then check out my dedicated tutorial on that linked in your card as well as down below in the description. But first and foremost, we basically just need to enter recovery mode. And now that we are inside of recovery mode, check rain now prompts us to continue. So I'm going to click on start and it's going to tell us exactly how to enter DFU mode. So let's go ahead and click start to that and we'll just follow the steps on screen as usual. So now I'm going to just release that side button and continue holding volume down. I found that again, you don't wanna hold side and volume down together for quite as long as it says inside of check rain because sometimes it uh, actually doesn't work as it should and it will actually kick you out of DFU mode and just show an Apple logo. But at any rate, you can see here that now it is in the process of rebooting. It's already exploited the device and uh, uh, the boot ROM has again been pwned and we are about to boot into our jailbroken state. At this point, the device is already jailbroken. We won't have Cydia since this is the first time jailbreaking, but we'll just be able to install Cydia with CheckRain. So let's go ahead and launch up CheckRain after we get a internet connection. I was a little too quick there. Um, now that Wi-Fi has connected, we should be able to load up CheckRain. And then we're going to tap on Cydia followed by install Cydia. I can disconnect from the computer. We no longer need that. And uh, it's just going through the installation process for Cydia. We have it now. And uh, yeah, guys, I mean, I'm jailbroken on iOS 13.3.1 beta. This is just how powerful CheckRain is. It's absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna show you guys at the bottom when we scroll down inside of Cydia here. The identifying text confirms that this is an iPhone 10 comma three or a global iPhone 10 model running iOS 13.3.1 with the latest version of Cydia. And you guys can do this exact same thing right now if you have an iPhone 10 or older. Remember, that's the limitation of CheckRain that I mentioned previously. It only includes support up to the A11 CPU because it's actually exploiting a flaw with inside the silicon of Apple's chips themselves that Apple patched with the A12 CPU and later. So if you guys wanna know how to do this, again, like I said, check down below in the description. It will probably be the second link for you guys there in the description. So now let's go inside of the changes section followed by upgrade, confirm, just to show you guys that again, Cydia does function as expected. We were just able to install the available updates there and now we're just going to tap on respring and it's going to put us right back at our lock screen. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just totally stoked that I'm able to jailbreak here this iPhone 10 on iOS 13.3.1 in unreleased firmware without even the jailbreak being updated itself. How cool is that, guys? And uh, one last thing I just wanna show you guys, installing Cylinder. So a tweak available here on iOS 13 that will function on 13.3.1. So let's go ahead and just wait for that. Slide to unlock, and there you go. You can see that cylinder is working. My icon transitions uh, have been applied, and if we go inside of cylinder here, we can set really any of these effects, and uh, yeah, so. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and found the information in it helpful. Be sure to subscribe so you can be updated the very second a new jailbreak is released. And I didn't mention this until now, but I highly recommend bookmarking my A12 and A13 jailbreak status checker page, which will be the first link down below in the description. And this page, once this red no changes to a green yes, that will indicate the release of a new jailbreak, something that's not check rain that will function on on those newer devices and also those older devices providing that semi-untethered jailbreak we talked about previously. So definitely check that out, bookmark it, check back regularly. It's a dynamic page, which means that it will be updated the very second a new tool is out. And uh, until next time, this is ICU signing out.